Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solution to your one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to show you how to use a um, simple Excel formula to calculate the distance between points, right? Good. So we have a set of coordinates and then the all defined points, right? Good. So we want to calculate the distances between the successive coordinates, right? Good. So basically, the distance at the first point will have to be zero. So if we want to format this particular, okay, let's format this particular cell to be up to two decimal places here yeah, because we want our distances to be in two decimal places, right? Good. So then if we come down here, it will still be zero. However, we want to now define or we want to, yeah, we want to define the formula we would use. You know, um, when a point is defined by the easting and the nothing and then you also have another point defined by its easting and nothing and you want to find the distance between those two points it is simply the square root of what the sum of the differences between your delta easting and your delta nothings so that simply means you have a square root and then you have your delta nothings or your delta easting squared you know when it's plus anyone can confess right good it's only when it's a um, subtraction that um, you have an order. So let's say we have what delta easting squared plus delta nothing squared, right? Good, all in a square root. So we are going to now use this, um, we are going to use this cell to write our formula, right? Good, so before you write the formula, you have equal to, so it's um, indicative that you want to write a formula. So we have a um, square root now in Excel your square root is what is described or is denoted as what sqrt so it returns the square root of a number right good so now what our number is is a set of numbers right good so we can decide to open a second bracket so the second bracket will now contain the square of what our delta not is right good so your delta not is simply what um the second nothings okay we are on easting rather your delta easting is simply what the second easting minus the first easting similarly your delta nothings is what the second nothings minus the first nothing so that is how we are going to progressively what run the formula so it will be two minus one three minus two four minus three as the case may be right remember that our first cell we have populated with zero because we don't have any Point before it right good so it is this second cell that we want to determine the distance or calculate the distance because we have what a set of coordinates at top right good so that has defined the point so we want to now calculate the distance from this point to this point right good so we said we are on easting so it will be this value minus this value right good so if we close that bracket remember that we said we need to square it so the square is what cap 2 that is squared right good so we have said the square root of what delta is still squared so plus we now open another bracket again to do similar stuff for what our delta not is so remember that each of these cells have their cell number right good so we are currently on d3 because this is what d and then this is three right good so whenever you are writing a formula and then maybe your formula has extended to cover the cell you want to click on you can just navigate through to know what what that particular cell is so the reason why i brought that in is that i want us to understand that our c column is what the nothings right good and then if you look closely now our second nothings which we need for n2 minus n1 is actually on what c3 right good so if we just say c3 it has picked what our second nothings right good so minus now the first nothings which we are using is on this um it's on this cell right good so it is still on c and then it's on two so we can just write c2 but since it is um, open for us to use we can just click on it and then you can see the c2 has been what it has been displayed so these are some simple things that you need to understand that if you are unable to maybe click on the cell you want to include in your formula you can decide to use the cell number right good so when you use the cell number 
it will still be populated on your formula so we can just close this bracket and then we still have what our cap 2 now this cap 2 is still what four squared right good because we told you or we know that in mathematics and in surveying that your distance is simply what the square root of the sum of the squares what your delta nothings and your delta istings which simply means the square root of what delta nothing squared plus delta istings squared or delta istings squared plus what delta nothing squared so we add um, a we add the first bracket so we need to also what close that first bracket so we have um, actually written the formula we want to use to what to calculate the distance so if we hit enter the distance has been populated right good so the distance has been calculated so how do we now populate down our what our spreadsheet so it's simple now this um simple plus sign or maybe yeah this plus sign here yeah, shows you what autofill right good so if you have um, a formula or maybe a set of number or a set of numbers right good or whatever you want to just autofill you can just use this at the tip of at the tip of the bottom right of your cell and then you double click so it auto fills that formula down to the end right good that's the auto fill option so what it has done simply is that it has used the pattern of the formula we have to calculate down so let's just randomly pick some points and then try to open the formula you can see that it is still what the square root of b12 minus b11 right good and our b12 is what this our b11 is this right then squared we have um plus c12 which is this minus c11 which is this all squared right good so this is a very simple excel program which we believe is good for an introduction um you can also check maybe if you have a calculator with you you know you can just run the check to confirm whatever you have gotten on your program to be correct because it's very very important to do that so that um, you don't go and um, publish something that um, you have not tested right good so the checking in this case will be a bit of testing to know the consistency of what the formula that um, you have run the formula run does not really mean that it is giving you the right result so for you to confirm if it's giving you the right result hence you need to test right good so you just have a calculator by you to maybe to check and then if the first value is correct definitely the subsequent values will also run through so we have shown you on today's tutorial that um, square root on excel is sqrt and then square is what cap 2 right good just like raised to power 2 and then we have applied that to help you calculate what the, the distances between points and then we have also shown you how to autofill so that you don't have to be writing the same formula please take note the same formula on all what on all your cells right good and then we are also going to maybe advance to get what bearing which is a bit complicated but it's also very very easy right good when you understand those um, simple conditions so we are going to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye